What's up? Part five of the electric go-kart build. The motor spins. Mm -hmm. We know everything works. Now yeah. we're putting it on the frame. Yeah, in this video, a lot of exciting stuff happens. We uh, mount more things and get the get the go-kart cart to go, and then we take it for a little bit of a rip. Alright guys, uh, welcome to the uh, first part in the series, me finding stuff in this bolt bin. Yeah, if you just ignore the noise, so it sounds fine. All right, let's get the viewers a little action shot. All right, wait, stop. All right, you can see the teeth on the sprocket are really far to the right, or I guess the top of the screen for you guys. So we need to move the motor. We need to move the motor this way. was pretty easy to mount. It's just like four screws. Yeah, I think we already, I think we already videoed some of that. Oh, well, um, this we haven't videoed. Oh yeah, the switch box. Oh God, I got caught on the license plate. So the switch box, we made this like custom plate here. Eventually the wires are gonna route through this hole here and come out and over to the speed controller. Super neat. Right now they're just coming out sort of a crack in the back. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, pretty much we made that and mounted that. This is all sort of Pretty individual sturdy. stuff to our go-kart. So like if you're building your own at home, this doesn't really apply, but yeah. Just little things that we wanted to yeah. do. We used rivets. We did. Indeed. <laughs> lots, lots of them. Yeah. Right now I'm working on mounting the second battery tray. Yeah, I just um, did a little work with some, some big, what is this, two gauge? Yeah two gauge wire. So we just have it all running back down under right here. And then we're probably gonna attach it to the seat or this little bar on the frame. Just keep them from like rubbing against the axle here and keep it all bunched together nicely. And those are all going to the speed controller. And then when we have the batteries on there, those wires will run from the batteries um, back through to the other battery pack on the other side and then some of those wires will go to the speed controller. We have to shorten the wires yeah. that are going from the speed controller to the switch box because... There's still a lot of finalizing to do. Yeah, but it'll all work. Yeah. Don't forget about the fuse. Yeah. Oh, and stickers. That's stickers right there. Yeah. We, we need lots of stickers. It's gonna get some stickers. Okay, Ben is mounting the contactor and probably the fuse to the piece of sheet metal that's next to our speed controller and switch panel. And we just got our batteries down here. They're charging again. So we just have to finish up that and then weld the last um, battery tray in all balanced out and stuff. I do not want to have to lift that with batteries on it. Sheesh. That looks sick.
we're finally wiring our light bar up to our switch box so that it's not just straight to the batteries. Also, we're not running a converter. We're just direct wiring the batteries to the light bar. <laughs> that was a bad idea. <laughs> well, yeah. So don't do that. Don't wire straight from the batteries. No, I think uh, you can, we just did it in the wrong spot. Yeah. The issue was is that we put our negative up here so that anytime it touched the frame, the frame would get however much that's like 30 volts. No, 20 volts. And as much amperage as the batteries can dump. So as soon as we plugged it in and turn on, turned on the lights, it um, the wiring started to just literally melt. You can see here, it just actually melted the wires. Start on the bottom end of your battery, I think is the key. All right, the moment is here, guys. So we just got the batteries all situated, wired up. We've got wire running down there over to the fuse from that battery too. And in the back, these two wires, um, both going to the speed controller over there. We got the fuse wired in there, contactor there next to the switch box and speed controller. Here's an, uh, it I've sounds like it's rubbing a little. Yeah. <laughs> 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 enjoyed the uh, maybe the last video for a little bit on the electric go-kart we have some other things um, in the garage right now struggling a little with top speed we want to make it a little faster it goes about 30 right now 32 I think was the fastest we recorded it mm -hmm. um, and you know that's that's all fun but you know, faster is better so right now we're running it right around 36 volts and 
the motor and speed controller uh, programming is meant for 48 volts. So we might end up rearranging our batteries in a way that we get 48 volts, slightly less amperage. Um, but that might be a sacrifice that we're gonna make. Smash like, subscribe. Also check out some of the other videos. We have mm -hmm. a video on the Krusty Kart, which is a little 2.5 horse go-kart that's at my house. And we're about to start working on Ben's, um, what is it, 10? Yeah, 10, 10 horsepower, it's a big cart um, and yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be some fun.